Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I really wanted to do a quick video just to explain the current market situations and also to validate my thesis for you so you understand why I believe what I believe. So I keep saying this, I keep posting the same thing. Nothing's changed, nothing's changed, nothing's changed. A thesis is only as good um, as the candles that print to, to either validate or invalidate it, right? So at the end of the day, this could change and I might be wrong. You need to take that into consideration. But I do believe there's still a 3% drop that we could have seen. Um, this was on the 21st of June that I posted this. Uh, today, it is currently the 24th of June, so a few days later. So I saw this 3% drop, and I did say there is a potential large wick down. So I said we had a 3% drop to sit within this ascending bull flag, then a potential large wick down to flush out any leverage before the next leg up to 100k. If that's true, then it looks like uh, 100k Bitcoin by July, July August. All right, so this is what I said. Whilst we were here, I said we we're going to drop down to here with a potential drop down to this red line. So we could see a 55K Bitcoin. All right, so let's have a look from my, my thesis. Let's have a look at where we currently are live in the market. All right, so you can see from when I said it around here, we have dropped down. We have broken out of this trend and we are now in this, what I considered to be a, um, a liquidation event. This is a fake out. Uh, and what I believe we're going to see here and what I'm hoping we're going to see here is a, a push down, a quick push down with a very quick recovery back to this point before we head up. That's what I would like to see, because if this continues to stay here and go either sideways or down, then it invalidates this entire flag, which changes everything. So it's very, very critical level right now. And I'm looking on the daily chart. So I need Bitcoin to really close above 61,500 at the end of today to continue this thesis. Otherwise, well, it just looks like it could possibly be a double top. And if it does work out something like a double top, we could see, oh, uh, we, we could potentially see anything from like another 30% drop, which uh, we don't really want to see that because if we did see a 30% drop, well, that's going to put us back down to uh, somewhere around 40K Bitcoin. And I, I just, I'm not. I'm not interested in that right now. We've got the elections coming up. We've got the presidential elections coming up. We've uh, got the quantitative easing that's happening at the moment. You know, with everything that's going on in the world right now, Bitcoin still feels like a, a solid play. Also, when you consider that a lot of the money is flowing into ETFs, it's flowing into micro strategies. When you look at how the money is flowing into Bitcoin, it's not going to flow out as easily. Uh, and a lot of the people that are selling, we're seeing the minor capitulation, which is happening, which ha always happens after a halving event. We're coming up to a period of a few months after the halving event. So typically six months after the halving, that was April. So we're looking at, we've got May, June, July, which we're in now that first part. And then we've got August, September, October, where we're going to start to see those uh, gains start to happen. I still think July, August is where we start to see this transition. So let's just have a look at the next chart here. And this is using glass, uh, coin glass. So I'm looking at the Bitcoin exchange uh, liquidation map. So any Bitcoin that's being leveraged at the moment, which means people are using it uh, to leverage, we're looking at the longs, which is this left side here. So basically, if the price drops to 53,600, we will liquidate all of these, um, all of these longs. Uh, we, we've see, we can see here that there is a drastic point here around 59.5. So we're definitely going to hit 59.5. We've got another point here at 58.5, and then it's pretty much guaranteed, like it, it's gradual at that point. So 50, uh, 59.5, we've almost hit it. I don't, I don't believe we're going back up at the moment. I think we're going to see another push down because we have to come down to 59.5 to hit that leverage, and we're just above it at the moment. So I think we're going to see a push down. Um, I think we could potentially see a push down to 58.5, which will be around here. And then it wouldn't surprise me if we just see a quick push down to touch this line before we bounce back off of it to regain control uh, of this ascending bull flag. And again, I really need that to happen today. I mean, we could go over to the weekly. I mean, we could uh, you could argue, you could argue we've got we've got time. If we look at the weekly, we've got time on the weekly. So, it doesn't have to happen today. I would just feel a lot more confident if it happened today. But this candle right now, the candle that has invalidated this this perfect, almost perfect and, and it's not exact because you can see here there was a, you know, there's a little bit of give and play in it. But overall, we do need to see this recover and it needs to happen this week. So within a week, uh, I would say that by Monday, the 1st of July, by Monday, the 1st of July, before that, it needs to be back at, at that point, 62,000. 
So we need to see that 62,000 to, to hit that by the end of this week. I am watching this closely. If we do not recover that level, that changes my entire thesis right now. I will still be following this trend line, but if it breaks this red line, I'm out. I'm out the market. It's as simple as that. I'm, I'm out. Because at the moment, this is the only thing, this red line is the only thing holding us up from going down to a potential, and I don't want to say this, but a potential 40K, even to a 30K. And I don't, I don't want to do that. It, it would make sense because no one's expecting it. And so <laughs> it would really, really, really flush out all of the, like, because you've got all of these shorts in here at the moment, right? So we need to short, at, like, if you look at how much, how much we've got loaded up on terms of shorts right now, so this short leverage, we would need to push up to 67,000 to flush this out. So it makes perfect, perfect sense right now. When we're looking at the leverage, it make, from a manipulation point of view, it makes perfect sense to at least push down to 58.5, at least to flush out all of this activity, and then a quick push back up to 70,000. That's what I'm expecting. That, that would put us from here to here. And that would play perfectly into this ascending bull flag, which we could then break out of and we can regain this 80,000 mark or not the 80,000 trend line push up. Because again, if we look at the entry level into this ascending bull flag, it's about 45%. If we look at an exit, which is going to happen around here again, around 45% puts us up at 100K Bitcoin and allows us to recover those trend lines back from 2020. These are the 2020 trend lines um, that we can see we have pretty much recovered from now this red trend line which we did break that was where we broke in may 22 we've recovered it we touched it the start of this year we've just recovered from it we had an absolute perfect kobo where we broke trend we kissed it and buggered off so perfect kobo there on a retest um we're, we're sitting flawlessly right now inside this ascending bull flag all we need to happen now is this to push down push back up come to here and push up and that's what I'm expecting for 100k Bitcoin to happen at the end of July, beginning of August. Hope this helps. Plan accordingly and don't leverage.